Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about using energy and specifically uh, forms of energy, but I'll also talk about a little bit on energy changes and lastly, the energy of a falling object. So what happens when an object is falling? Uh, what energy changes take place and what are the forms of energy. So the first form of energy is that I'm going to look at is chemical. Now chemical energy is the energy that's possessed by uh, substances or such as food. So the food that we eat that contains chemical energy. Uh, that's a form of energy. Um, things like fuel. And by fuel, we're talking petrol and diesel. So petrol and diesel are both fuels, and they are they are chemicals, and they they possess chemical energy. The other form of energy is kinetic, and kinetic is the energy that's possessed by a moving object. So when an object is moving, it uh, it possesses kinetic energy. Here the other form is gravitational and also elastic. Now these two, gravitational and elastic, are both forms of potential energy. Okay, so it's gravitational potential and elastic potential. So it's the energy that's possessed by an object uh, by virtue of its position or its state. Okay. So by position, we're talking about whether it, at what point or how high it is above uh, the ground or above a certain level. But also elastic is how stretched or how compressed uh, an object is, which has got plastic properties and which is likely to return to some original position before the compression or the stretching takes place. And also, there is electrical energy. Now electrical energy is the energy of moving electrons in, in conductors or in cables. Now these moving electrons bring about this electrical energy. And so what are energy changes? Energy changes basically means changing from chemical energy, for example, to kinetic energy. Let's call that CE, kinetic energy, and maybe to gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy, maybe electrical energy. Let's call that EE, that's electrical energy. So these energy changes could be from any one of these to the other. For example, electrical energy could change into kinetic energy. If, for example, uh, we're using a fan, and the fan is has got electrical energy to make it work, but it's converting that electrical energy into, into kinetic energy of the rotating blades. So we've looked at energy energy forms of forms of energy and we've looked at energy changes now it's time to look for a falling object so a falling object possesses gravitational potential energy but as it is falling some of the energy is converted into kinetic energy okay but some of the energy is also wasted to overcome in order to overcome uh, friction and air resistance and that might might change into heat energy. So you can have gravitational potential energy be converted into both kinetic energy and heat energy. That's it in this video. Um, so if you are happy with the videos and you have not yet subscribed, please do also share the video with people that you think might benefit from it. And also just place a comment if you'd like any further assistance on this. I'll see you in the next video.